Hi, my name is Oliver Lucanis. I'm a wildlife photographer that's interested primarily in freshwater fish. I write books uh, and articles about the Amazon and uh, freshwater fish in Africa. And uh, I also keep fish at home. And I wanted to see if the new Canon R5 that has animal eye focus will also work on fish. Uh, since none of us can travel and there are no housings for the camera yet, I thought this is the perfect place to test this. And we have a loner Canon R5 that is rigged up with a 70 to 200 and uh, a Blackmagic screen that's connected by an HDMI cable so we can record what the screen is seeing. And uh, I will show you the results to see if the new Canon can follow the fish eyes. A special thank you to Aquatica here in Montreal and Canon Canada for loaning me some of the equipment we're trying today. Please keep in mind that this is my first time using this camera and I'm focusing and shooting this by looking at the mounted screen, not the viewfinder, and that is a little bit awkward. Hopefully it won't give you too much of a headache. So our first trial here is in the big aquarium you saw in the opening sequence. This is 5 cm thick acrylic that we are shooting through and it has some scratches and a bit of bacterial film growing on the inside. But I think that is not unlike the dome of a housing and the water that is not always so clear when you are diving. I'm shooting here with flashes mounted on the top and the front and you can see that the fish eyes are picked up by the animal eye focus. The cichlids and small characins are easy for the AF to pick out and it keeps focus very nicely. The anastomus on the other hand, the slender fish with the eye obscured by the strong horizontal or vertical lines are impossible to get an eye focus on. The geophagus cichlids have an ocellum on their flank that looks very much like an eye and the AF will occasionally pick that up. Lucky though, the spot is very much in the same plane as the eye and the photos end up in focus anyhow. Even if the AF does not pick up the eye, the regular AF zone picks up the flanks and scales of the fish quite well, and there were about 97 out of 100 images in focus. In this test, the camera picked up the fish eyes most of the time. The camera did really struggle with lorry carried catfish in general. They are covered in spots and their eyes are really well obscured but also their eyes are partially covered by an omega-shaped flap of skin, so the algorithm likely fails to see them as eyes at all. Next up, we tested on some Paku species. These mylocinas are not small, about 20 centimeter size, and their eyes are quite easy to pick out but they move really erratic in the current, like many silver marine fish. So I was really surprised how well the AF worked in this challenging scenario. Next up, an aquarium with water that we made a little bit cloudy. And here the AF picked up both the erratic fast-moving Paku and the slower cichlids and locked on nicely, even when other fish were closer to the lens. These hippomasticas never hold still and their body is covered in spots that look very much like their eye and focus locked on the eye quite often. I think that, I think that this is really impressive because I would not trust my 1DX in this situation at all and rely on tricking the AF to focus in the right spot or focus manually. These pike cichlids have an ocellum on the base of their tail that lo actually looks more like an eye than their eyes and I found that I could use the joystick in the back to force the AF to switch to the other end of the fish and it would pick up the actual eye. Once locked on, it stayed there quite consistently. Next up are these small cichlids, moving erratically and trying to see if the AF picks up fish coming into view and moving out of the frame and back in. You can see that this works very consistently and the IAF seems to reliably keep on the fish without picking up the scratches on the glass. Next up, we tried an EF lens. So this is the 100mm f2.8 macro with the adapter mounted on the R5. These New Guinea rainbow fish are about 7cm. Their eyes are pretty easy to pick up and they don't move around too much. So the next thing was something really small, 
So these are tiny lentipes gobies that are only around three or four centimeters long and their eyes are very small and there are lots of oxygen bubbles moving in the water column. This is a very difficult situation for the AF, especially handheld, with the macro at very close focus, just a hand's width from the subject. Considering that, I think the performance is very impressive. Well, I hope this video helps some of the fish photographers that are wondering if the Canon R5 and likely the Canon R6 will be able to pick up the fish eyes in Animal AF. Let's hope we can make a video showing the Aquatica housing for the camera in action soon. Uh, please subscribe to this channel at the end of this video.